Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. The first difference between a clay court and a hard court is the movement that is required to get around the court. On a clay court, you cannot stop like on a hard court, but you actually have to slide into almost every single ball because you're kind of like running on marbles. So all you want to do is try to control where your sliding actually stops. Number two, a clay court is way more uneven than a hard court. And this issue becomes worse and worse the longer you play because the shoe sliding on the ground pushes the clay all across the court, creating uneven little hills that uh, in the end influence the ball bounce and can cause the ball to bounce a lot higher than it usually would or a lot lower than it usually would. So once you're done playing, you actually have to use a net to flatten out the court again and make sure that you get all the clay particles spread evenly all across the tennis court. Number three is the lines. The lines are actually nailed into the ground here and not just painted on top of the court like on a hard court. So that means that the lines actually accelerate the ball a lot more than they would on a hard court because it's a different type of material. And number four, nobody would have guessed it, the weather conditions. The weather conditions make a huge difference on a clay court. While on a hard court, colder temperatures don't let the ball bounce as high and hotter temperatures make the ball bounce a little bit higher. On the clay court, the difference between those two conditions is a lot bigger. So if it is a rainy, a rainy day, you can still play on the court because the water kind of sucks through the court. Uh, you will still feel like the balls are very heavy. The balls don't bounce high at all. And even a kick serve is really comfortable to return on the other side. While on, on a very hot summer day, when the conditions are really scorching hot, it is very difficult to deal with a kick serve because it easily bounces over your head and the, the spin itself unfolds a lot more as well as the ball gets a lot faster because the hot conditions tighten up the clay, make it drier and make it a lot faster for, uh, towards the bounce. One thing you really have to be careful about on the clay courts is that you have to water the court on a consistent basis. If you don't water your tennis courts in Europe, for example, the courts become so dry that they start cracking, the court will break. But on top of that also, all the leftover clay that you find on top of the court will actually be blown away by wind, for example, and the court will become extremely slippery and very hard to play on. So court maintenance is a huge thing on a clay court. One last thing to watch is the shoes you use on the tennis court. On a clay court, you have clay court shoes, while on a hard court, you have hard court shoes. The main difference is that hard court shoes have a very flat profile, while clay court shoes give you a little bit of a, a zigzag pattern under the shoe, which uh, allows for the sand, for the clay, to get inside the profile. So you have way more grip on the court and it's way easier to control where your sliding will stop. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.